This thing is a monster. Oh, it's so big and nasty. What? Snails. In Southeast Asia, they come in unlimited shapes. Is that even a snail? Colors. Wow. And most impressive, sizes. Oh, it's so big. From slimy, crawling creatures that are nearly microscopic. That's it? That's the food? To behemoth ocean dwellers, some of which are older than me. <laughs> Today, we're in Saigon, Vietnam, trying out three different snail experiences three different price tags. Very affordable. It's like 500 snails for 10 bucks. That's a good deal. Very expensive. I don't have to pay for the shell, right? All cooked up like you have never seen before. Yo, are those eyes? Time to snail it. The year is 2020. A pandemic has ravished the globe and there's only one food show left on the internet. Hi. Today, we're scouring the streets of Vietnam, finding items that are both cheap, expensive, and somewhere in the middle. In a series I like to call, Bang For Your Buck. Have you ever heard of Bang For Your Buck? Yes, I have. Today, joining me on my seafood quest, Saigon local and snail enthusiast, Nhi Fan. My show or just the phrase in general? The phrase in general. We have a special series here on the Best Ever Food Review Show, trademark, called Bang For Your Buck, also trademark not actually trademark. Please don't do it for me. I'm saving up. When you think of a snail, you probably envision this. Slimy, slow, protruding eyes, and a shell they can retract into in the face of danger. In reality, there are over 60,000 different species of snails. It's a lot. A lot of different snails. Found on land, in fresh water, or even in the sea. So yes, this is a snail, but this is a snail too. What's the biggest snail you've ever seen? Is shrimp considered a snail? A shrimp. The biggest yeah, snail you've ever yeah. seen wasn't a snail, and also it was a shrimp. Yeah. All right, let's get out there and eat some snails. Let's do it. First location, for our most affordable level of snail, we have come here. This is a pretty typical seafood, street food stall that you'd find anywhere here in Ho Chi Minh City. Stalls like these are common in Vietnam. Locals convene shoulder to shoulder over a tantalizing selection of these shelled gastropods. Cold glasses of beer and affordable seafood. What more could you ask for? The owner of this stall, Miss Cook, is a true snail lover. She's offering more than 60 kinds of shelled seafood. Every night, she sells over 200 pounds of these little guys. As I look here, I've never seen some of this stuff before. Some of it maybe I've seen on Discovery Channel, and that's about it. They have the swirly snails, and some black ones, and some medium-sized ones. Oh, they even have horseshoe crabs. Could you pass me a horseshoe crab? Uh, G, uh, G, da, un, uh, this. Yes. Yes. Oh, God, I'm so good at reading movies. All right, so check it out. This, not a snail, but super interesting. It's a horseshoe crab. That's quite a variety that she's got here. We're gonna try some snails I've never seen before and that you absolutely have never seen before. After, we interview the owner. Mmm. How you doing? Not <laughs> bad. It's doing good. You have tons of seafood here. I see one I want to try right now. They're kind of beautiful. They could be earrings, maybe. Um, so this is actually mountain snail. Okay, so I definitely want to try these. Quick question. There's some snails in my garden. Can I eat those? Yeah, they're only good for medicinal purposes. Medicinal purposes. Yeah. Maybe I'll get high and trip out and invent uh, the new Tesla. Ma'am, thank you so much. Let's do it. And maybe a recipe for the snails in my garden. Snail dish one. Stir-fried coconut snails with salt. Coconut snails got this name because they're found living around the trunk of coconut trees. Here, she's coated them with chili salt, sugar, and a side of Vietnamese coriander. First location of the day, first snails of the day. Looks pretty good. They look like little black beans. I don't even know how to eat this. You puncture the meat, then you pull it out. Holy. You got it, you got it? You tell me you got it. Wow, look at that. Such a big, voluptuous bite. I don't know how many of these I can eat. Let's try it out. All right. Huh, that's interesting. I genuinely think it takes more calories to eat this than you get from the food. So if you spend all day eating this. You're gonna lose a ton of weight. And you're gonna lose your mind. So here, these are the ones that she was telling us about. Mountain snails. These snails were collected from Southern Vietnam's tallest mountain. 
Here, they're grilled with a sticky sweet blend of fish sauce, sugar, and MSG, loaded with fresh green pepper corns. So I'm doing my extraction now. Wow. Whoa, there's so much snail in there. And so the little poop sack is at the end. Do you eat that usually? I don't think you eat it. Do you eat it? Yes. Okay, you're right. Yeah. All right, let's try it out. Goes with the sauce really well. The sauce is nice. It's just a little bit sweet. The snail itself, it has more of like a, a mineral taste to it. And the poopy part, I enjoyed it. I don't really like it. I think you were thinking about it too much. You were in your head about your poop. Our final victims, tobacco pipe snails. Also grilled with fish sauce and sugar. Demonetized. <laughs> This looks great. It looks meaty. Oh, yeah. And it looks like you can actually eat the poop of this one. You can eat the poop of all of them. <laughs> I'm going to hit it with a little bit of fish sauce. Wow. It's really good. Oh, that's really satisfying. It's so meaty. I love it. So, we've had three different types of snails. First one, kind of a waste of time, but fun. Second one, taste of the mountain. Final one, super meaty. Together, a great little nighttime snack. So, which one's your favorite? Actually, this is um, on top of my list. And it's because it looks like a pipe. It reminds you of marijuana? That's it. I knew you were cool. I know, I'm cool. <laughs> Location 2, Snail 2. This place is famous for its exotic seafood selection. In fact, we've been here before for some extreme eats. Before we order, I want to reconnect with the owner. Oh, Exactly. Wait, what did he say? He said, now you remember to shake his hand. You didn't do it last time. Awesome, boy. That's a lot. <laughs> Last time, I was eating your delicious isopods. Since that video got posted, has there just been an explosion of isopod sales here? He has like a few people asking, but they're from abroad, so they can't really come back yet. What, you're like in Turkey or something, and you're like, hey, I'm gonna be there in 12 months. Do you have any isopods? We're not here for isopods today. Today, it's all about snails. What is the most expensive snail you have? That one. Can I pick it up? No, okay. Yeah, all right, sure. sorry, I want to touch all the food, but it's still alive, so it feels more like an animal, right? It's okay. a pet, basically. It's basically a pet until we put it in a frying pan. Oh, that is heavy. Whoa, that's crazy. So this thing is absolutely alive. It's a, a giant conch. Conch, it's a common name for different types of big sea snails, usually with a spire-shaped shell. Usually, they're between 6 to 12 inches long or uh, wide, and they grow up to 5 pounds. When I was in the Bahamas, they also have conch. They love conch. It's very popular there. But they would take out this little long translucent piece that was like the sexual reproductive organ of the conch, and you eat that alone raw, and it's supposed to give you uh, Superman powers. It gives you everything. It can do everything. <laughs> do you guys eat the reproductive organ of the conch? <laughs> He's never had any customer made that request. If you want, he can serve it to you. Yeah, if you can find it, we should eat it. Okay. All right, let's do it. The conch is steamed for 20 minutes. The giant sea snail has just been steamed from here. My men, you just pull it out or is it, will it dump out? Oh, the same thing that happens to me if I jump in really cold water happens to this snail if you put it in really hot water. It just kind of hot, you know? There's kind of two parts, a more dense, meaty part, and then that loose part. Which one is more tasty? He said the head tastes better. It's got a bit more texture. So, cool. I believe you. Okay, let's eat. Today's conch will be cooked two ways. First, stir-fried conch. Start by scissoring the dense conch meat into bite-sized medallions. In a hot wok, saute chilies, garlic, and lemongrass. Then add water and a blend of secret sauces. Once the conch absorbs the flavors, add veggies. So here we have it, the biggest snail I've ever bought in my life. And they've made two dishes here. I think we should try the dry one first. It is so thick and dense, almost like a, what do you call those really dense? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Scallop. It's kind of like a scallop, but it's not a scallop. Is it a food? Yeah, it's a food. It comes in a shell. Oh, it's in a shell. Abalone? Abalone, yeah. Let's, let's try it out. Oh, spicy, it's oily. It's almost just like you just put some salt and chili oil on there. And also, the more you chew, actually, the more flavor you taste. The flavor explodes. You gotta be careful it doesn't explode too hard and blow your teeth off. 
That's happened what before. That? Yep. What in the <laughs> actual f is that? I think that's part of the head. Oh no. Oh, yo, are those the eyes? Wow. Yeah. These are the eyeballs. Okay, I'll eat the head, you eat this bite of eyeballs. Cheers. <laughs> that bite was a little bit weird. Also chewy, but kind of gummy. Overall, these flavors are great though. It just kind of tastes like chili oil, which I like. Our second dish, steamed conch with ginger. In a wok, the chef makes a broth with scallions, ginger, and spring onions. Flavored even more with fish sauce, MSG, and sugar. Add the conch, and finally, garnish with onions, leeks, and cilantro. Wow, these parts all look a little bit gnarly. Yeah. Oh, that's the stomach part. Okay, here you go. Oh, I like that very much. The look is a little intimidating, but actually the taste is good. It's very different, huh? Yeah, really, really soft. I would say these two dishes complement each other very well. So, location two, snail two, a winner. Anten Lai Yi. Zui, my man. Manager at this joint here. A pleasure to meet you. This place is unlike anywhere we've been today. It's big, it's beautiful, it's glamorous. Welcome to Wun Wei Restaurant, a high end seafood paradise. It's the ideal spot to flex on your coworkers, swiping the company card for fresh, exotic, and extraordinarily giant seafood that is still moving. Can you tell us a little bit about this restaurant? Who comes here besides, you know, rich people like us? So during the week, you have people that are here to drink. And then on the weekends, you have more families. You've got this huge aquarium. What is going on here? It's a fish. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, this one, what is this? Ok Yak Vang. So this is called Ok Yak Vang. And English name is Mellow Mellow. Mellow Mellow is a very large sea snail, typically found in the seas of Southeast Asia. Their huge shell is often used as a tool by fishermen to bail out water from their boats. Therefore, it's also commonly called a baler shell. This thing is massive. Usually, they try to hide in the shell, but this snail, it's so big, it's become arrogant. It's just like letting it all hang out. And it's super healthy. Super healthy? Thank you, Silak Nam. Oh, it's like uh, aphrodisiac? Aphrodisiac. Yeah, for men. So not for me. Cool, I'm gonna go hang out with some other dudes who also ate aphrodisiacs and high five. Yeah, high five each other. <laughs> We are in the kitchen. The snail has been pressure cooked for the last 10 minutes, and we're gonna reveal it right now. So he's got the tongs. It's gonna hit the ice water right away. Boom, hit some ice water. So now, the not so easy part of taking it out. He's got a scissors here, kind of trying to pry it out. Oh, he's making some headway. This part is not easy. He's got the focus of a madman. He's gonna get it out. You can do it, you can do it. Golden, golden. All right, it's hour 12 of surgery right now. There's something in there still clinging onto the shell. Oh, he's got a hand on it. It's almost out. <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's missing a little bit. There's some little part still left in there. Oh, I think that's the poopy part. Oh, that part is huge. Remember early in the video when we ate the little poopy part? Now it's huge. You can throw it away, dude. Ugh. Well, we'd probably be fine without that. Congratulations. Okay, no high fives. If you zoom in close, this would actually be its eyes or antennae. It uses something around here to see where it's going. Obviously, it wasn't that good because it ended up here. I'm gonna put the whole thing on the scale and see how much actual just straight up cooked snail meat do we have here. I don't actually know because I'm not facing the scale. How much is it? It is 1.1 kgs of meat. That is insane. Well, I got trust in these guys here, the kitchen crew. They're gonna make it into some delicious food and I'm gonna make sure they don't put this part inside. Let's eat. Stop that. Our Mellow Mellow will be prepared two ways. First, stir fry. Stop that. A hot wok is doused in oil, garlic and chilies, margarine, Stop. salt, sugar, and MSG. Then a very generous portion of snail. Yeah. Once every piece of the snail is coated, it's time to eat. So, let's talk about this. 
Over a kg of meat, does it make you uncomfortable? I gotta admit, I'm a little intimidated. You should be. I was in the kitchen, and it was disturbing how much fecal matter is contained within the snail. Oh, it's like a toilet bowl. Which dish has the poop? This one. Let's build up to the poop dish. Okay, this is a climax. Gonna <laughs> be, yeah, the climax. Here, we've got a mound of pure snail meat. The meat itself looks the same, kind of just an opaque white, but there's like this leopard print on the outside. It looks like a confused, middle-aged white woman that's trying too hard. All right, I'm gonna just kind of re-invinegarate it in the butter here. Let's go for it. Wow. Delicious flavor, very rich with the butter. The way it breaks apart, it's like beyond chewy. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think that's all there is to this one. Over here, a snail salad. Dish two, the chef chops all the odd bits into biteable chunks. This includes the organs and also the semi-digested contents of its poop sack. That would be a horrible thing to have to waste. Add all that to a shredded mixture of banana flowers, Vietnamese coriander, and onions. Oh, okay, take a look at that. That's a whole horn. Yeah, horn is the right word for it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, that one was pretty pleasant. I mean, no strong flavor. Uh, what else is in here? Papaya, peanut, and just a dumb amount of meat. I think we do a little salad, a little bit of snail. Oh, way different. Everything here is so tender. Also, the way that they prepared it is the right balance. Yeah, it does balance. This is more bold, spicy in your face, and this is a bit more light. Overall, I like it. The only parts that freak me out are the ones that look like a body part. When I feel like I'm looking into a snail face, looking back at me like, you could have prevented this, and I'm like, but the views. And he's like, I get it, the views, the views. Today, we had three different snails at three different amounts of money. For you, which one was the best value for the amount of money? If I had to pick one, I would say the most expensive one. Why is that the best value? It's the whole experience, from seeing it in the tank to cooking it and to having it on a table like that. It's totally, totally um, worth it. Oh, it's, uh, we can't say that. For me, the expensive snail is totally the right choice. For the amount of money? Yeah. For me, the one that I thought was the best value today is our first location. Just like classic Vietnamese street food, so many different options, super delicious, super affordable. To me, for sure, the best value. Small snails, you know the ones that don't weigh over a pound? They're pretty awesome. Mm. They have nuanced texture and a bouncy springiness that's fun to bite through. It's like beyond chewy. Giant snails more or less have the same super dense meaty consistency in each bite. The texture is kind of addictive though. But they are a spectacle that can't be underrated. Look, it just went back in the shell. Whoa, that's crazy. Whether you're choosing big or small, the experience will always be well worth it. Best ever food review show bandanas for you and your entire extended family. Now you can finally stop the sweat on hot days or important job interviews. You can cover up your receding hairline. You can pretend to be the karate kid. You can lead a summit on climate change. You can hide from your responsibilities. You could hide that embarrassing tattoo. Or you can look like the world's most lovable food review show host. Oh, wow. For each order, you will receive three bandanas in three different colors. Red, black, and white. This is a one-of-a-kind, unique design you will only find on our website. Visit our store and check out all of our merch at shopbesteverfood.com. From researching and shooting to editing and mastering, our 10-person Best Ever Food Review Show team works hard to roll out the highest quality travel food entertainment twice a week. If you like what we do here, please consider supporting our Patreon. Patreon allows fans of the show to contribute a monthly sum and receive a load of extras, like early video releases, private Q&As, and beyond. To learn more about our Patreon, check out the link in the description box down below. And if you can't give or don't even feel like it, that's okay too. <laughs> We're just happy you're here. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Thank you, Tingyi. Can we have a little awkward handshake? Uh, you made it awkward. <laughs> guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, peace. <laughs> All right. Ugh, we got another pound of snail. We gotta eat it.